Hello everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the LPC1768 to implement the application like uh, in this diagram where we have the uh, monitoring system to control the temperature of the water in the plant. So for example, if we have the sensor here, uh, this is the temperature sensor and we use the LM35. And we have the heater where when the water temperature is uh, below 80 degrees Celsius, we will uh, turn on the heater and turn off the heater. And uh, when the temperature is more than 120 degrees, so we will turn off the heater and uh, turn on the cooler such that the temperature, the water temperature will be in between 20, uh, 80 degrees Celsius and 120 degrees Celsius. And if the temperature is in between this, this range, uh, so we will turn off both the heater and the cooler. And uh, here is the uh, signal or logic to control the, the heater and cooler where when the input here is zero zero means that both, heat, both heater and cooler are off. When zero one we will turn off the cooler and turn on the heater. When one zero we will turn on the cooler and turn off the heater. And uh, this will be controlled by these two pin which is P1 18 and P120 and the sensor is connected to P023. We have the start and stop button where the start uh, button is used to start the operation of this uh, system and the stop button is to stop the operation of the system. We will use the interrupt to uh, for the stop button right where uh, at any time when the stop button is pressed, so the operation of this system will uh, be immediately stopped. And uh, also, the uh, temperature that we read from the sensor will be uh, sent to the computer, to the PC, using the serial. So in this case, we will use UART. And uh, we also have the LED indicator to indicate the uh, temperature level, right? Where when the temperature is exceeding 120 degree, the LED will be uh, very bright. And when the temperature is less than 80 degrees, so the brightness is very low, so we will control the brightness of this LED using the PWM signal generated from this P2.0. And uh, when the temperature is in between 80 degree and uh, 120 degree Celsius, then the uh, brightness is uh, at the not too bright and not too deep. Right. So for the full brightness, we will use PWM uh, duty cycle at 80%. And uh, for the low brightness, we will use PWM duty cycle at 10%. And uh, for the not too bright and not too dim, we will use PWM uh, duty cycle at 50%. So we can uh, simulate this using uh, Kyle. Uh, microvision so let's do that so this is the setup in the uh, Kyle microvision version 5 so uh, the start button is connected to uh, port 1 bit 30 or P1 Point zero as 
indicate in the this port, port 130. So this is the start button. And for the stop button, because we use the interrupt, so only port 0 and port 2 are available for the interrupt. So we will use P0.0 for stop button. So this is the, the stop. The stop at P0, port 0, bit 0. The ADC. here is connected to P023 so which means that this is uh, channel 0 we use channel 0 so the input will be here the analog input and this one is the output to the driver so here will be P118 and this one is P120 so this is P18 and this is P120 to indicate whether the uh, cooler or heater is turned on. And uh, for the serial, it is connected to P010. Which means that this is uh, UART2. So we will use the um, logic analyzer to see the UART2 output, which is S2 out. We'll demonstrate or we'll show the UART signal here. And uh, here is the PWM. So we can see the duty cycle of the PWM. Uh, signal here when we run okay now let's start the simulation we press run here okay because we haven't pressed the start button yet so there will be no output yet right there is, will uh, we don't have any input and there is no output at the pwm there's no output at the serial line Right, because the operation haven't start haven't started yet right now let's press the start button and let's say the the temperature is uh, 0 0.7 represent uh, 0 0.7 volt represent uh, 70 degree for lm35 and let's start press the start button press and release so we can see that yeah because uh, 0 0.7 or 70 degrees celsius the temperature is uh, less than 80 so uh, meaning that the water temperature is cold so we need to to turn on the turn on the heater right so uh, we should have 0, 1 here. So we can see that we have 1 at 40, P20, and uh, P18 is 0. And uh, also, the here should be the less bright uh, at the LED output or the 10% uh, duty cycle. So we can see that the duty cycle of the PWM here is 10%, right? And the output at the UART is this, right? From the reading from the uh, analog value 0 0.7 converted to digital here digital value is 0 0.364 so we have 364 that we send through the uh, UART line right 
this demonstrate that the data is now sent to the computer using the uh, serial line. Right. Now let's uh, change the value to, uh, for example, value between 80 and 120. Let's, for example, 90. So we have a new value here at the result. The total value from the analog 90 is 45D. And we can see that both yeah, heater and cooler are now off, turned off. And we can see that the PWM signal is now at 50% duty cycle. So which means that the LED is not too bright or not too dim. And uh, look at the output here, 045D, 045D representing uh, this value that we sent to the computer, right? Now, let's increase the temperature where we have, uh, for example, 1.3 volt meaning that now is uh, 130 degree and the temperature, the output now is 64D and we can see that now the, the cooler here at P18 is now turned on and the heater is turned off, right? And we can see that now because it is too hot, the brightness, uh, the duty cycle of the PWM is now at uh, 80%, meaning that this is the uh, will, will resulting in the most brightness at the LED. And the output here should be, yeah, Output that we send to the computer should be 0640D. 0640D. This is the output that we send to the computer. And uh, remember that uh, the UART, yeah, we send the data only 8 bit at a time. That is why we need to send two packet to the uh, using the serial line for this data because this data is 12 bit, right? So we need to send two times, 8-bit and 8-bit, such that we can send 0, 6, and 4D to the serial, serial line. Now, let's demonstrate the, the stop button. So where is the stop button? Here is the stop button. So let's click the stop button. Right. So the stop button is using the interrupt. So it is uh, active high. So I need to have active high here. Right. So meaning that here we have the stop already. So no data at the line and no PWM output. And whenever we start again, so it will start uh, this system again right so meaning that we start again and we can change the temperature back to for example 0 0.9 so we will have a new uh, output pwm output here is this 50 percent and we have 0 0.45 d for these for the data okay so this demonstrate how we can uh, implement this kind of system and simulate using Kyle uh, microvision thank you for watching